Hello everyone, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is series of plotting tutorials using Matplotlib and Python. Now in this tutorial, we'll be talking about polar bar plots. Now, if you have some kind of a bar chart that you want to draw on a, on a spherical coordinates, I mean on a circular coordinate system like our polar plot, then this is the plot that you like to go for. Polar blo bar plots help you to plot bar-like data on, on a polar plane. To give you a better example, I'll just actually run this code and see it for yourself. So this is how the bar chart, this is how a polar bar plot looks like. You have bars that are extending from the center to some particular uh, a particular height and they have a particular width. So particular width. So if you want to draw plots like this, we need we need polar bar plots. Okay. Now let's get to the example and so that we'll know what's how to do all this. Uh, as usual, I just input numpy and matplotlib on the top, and then I include data, which is theta. First of all, it's theta, which is linearly spaced between zero and two pi. I set the number to be twenty-one, and I have include some random numbers, which are actually going to be the my heights of the bar uh, bar chart, and uh, I put subplot one one one, and they set the po uh, set the polar option to be true, and then get an axis out of it, which is ax one. And this is the line that is more important. That is important, uh, which is actually the you just type ax1, the bar, the axis title, axis, and then you type bar, and then you pass in the angle and then the heights. So for simplicity, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to comment out all these lines, comment out all these lines, and then run this one over here. And at the bottom, I just have controls for the setting the radius limits. The takes up radius limits the ra are, are label positions and then the angle takes and I just say here I said that uh, title I mean grid legend and uh, title nothing much fancy so when I run this I just get this uh, bar chart over my polar bar chart over here well first if you look at this one over here first of all it's um, pretty singular it's a pretty pretty monochromatic that's okay uh, that, that's not a problem. The first problem is we notice is that they are overlapping very well So we like to know about their borders first of all and then we like to put a legend over here and do a little bit of more little bit of more uh, controls So this is the basic one. So Now I can actually add one feature after the other for instance I can actually put the label and then in and then for the colors I can actually include the color for these bars using this color option I'm setting this to be a, sa uh, a light or right red color, an orange is red color. You can set this to any color you want. And first, and this, we our plot gets started to good look a little better. In the sense, we have a we have a label over here, and we are able to change the color. Fine. And now, actually, actually, let's do something about the borders. By default, the bar bar chart, I mean the bar plots in Python, do not, especially the newer version, do not have a edge edge color over here. So let's do that. To specify an edge color, there is this option called as a parameter called as edge color, and set that to be black. And if I do that, now the borders of these uh, will come out pretty clearly. Now you can clearly see the spread and the heights are of them are, of them are coming out perfect perfectly because these lines are very obvious. Perfect. And now uh, if we notice in another issue that that is these bars are actually overlapping on top of each other so if we have a bar if you so if you take this particular bar over here let me let me if i can zoom this up hmm, apparently not anyway proceeding proceeding on if i want to look at this bar over here this is actually behind this bar and i do not know how far it is spreading with this it going all the way here or up to here i do not know one way to get that work around is by adding a transparency effect to all these bars so we need to use this alpha option. So here I set alpha to be 0.5. So I'm making it 50% transparent or 50% opa opaque. And when I run this, now it makes all makes clear sense because now with 50% transparency, if there are any bars that are behind or being overlapped, I can clearly see, you can clearly see how far they are uh, over, uh, overlapping. It will be pretty obvious over here. Now this looks okay. Now let's do a little bit more tweak to make it uh, make it a little interesting. Uh, let's have a control over the width. By default, the width is uh, width is uniform in all these uh, all these data. Uh, I don't know whether it's width is uniform. Let's have a look. 
uh, by default the width of the width of these is just uh, a constant in a sense for every bar you take over here the angular width is angular width is constant so that's how that's how it, the figure that's how the figures are I mean that's how the bars are drawn instead of having constant angular angular widths for these bars I can actually go and specify uh, specify my own width for instance if I said width to be equal to 0 0.5 0 0.5 and these width will be incre decreased or in de increased substantially. By default, the width is one unit. The angular width is actually one unit. Now it's 0.5. So now these bars look a little smaller. Fair enough. And now I can actually go and uh, do a little bit more work. In the sense, instead of having a constant width, I can have a variable width. All I have to do is I just have to pass in another numpy array or a list or a tuple who which has the same size as that of the data and which and it has and it has to have some numbers between normalized numbers between 0 and 1 once i do that uh, corresponding to the particular bar the width will be used over based on the magnitude over here so when i run this one over here there we go if the values are larger they cover a la if the values are bigger they cover a longer span if the values are smaller they cover a shorter span over here so this is how you go and tweak them up and uh, for this example, I'm just going to keep a constant width. I'm going to keep it as it is. And there's another option called as bottom. This keyword parameter makes sure that uh, the bottom is actually separated, is actually, uh, of these bars is actually controlled. By default, the bottom starts at the 0, 0, which is actually the 0 point, I mean, the, this point over here at the center. Instead, I can actually put this to something like 0.5, and the difference will be so obvious. Check this out. Now clearly, if you look at these, you look at these. All these bars start about the 0.5 radius circle. Instead of starting at zero, they start at 0.5 radius circle. This way, I can push these bars up and down depending upon my convenience, uh, upon my convenience. And you can also do this as per your convenience. Cool. Now uh, I'm just going to keep this to be zero. You can push this to any any other way you want. And the last option that we're going to do is multicolor a multicolor bar chart. In the sense, instead of having a single monochromatic color, uh, we can have multiple colors in the bar chart. So when I run this line over here, there we go. I have my bar chart with multiple col multiple colors. So the longer ones, the, the the larger magnitudes have the darker shade of the colors, whereas the smaller ones have the smaller shade of the colors depending upon the color map you give. So for this, I'm giving this jet color map that is in matplotlib. This corresponds to a rainbow color rainbow colors so the lower values are at blue the higher values are at red and uh, instead of just uh, giving the giving them just, just as it is i can actually pass in the heights variable over here so the colors will be mapped based on the values of heights so instead of heights i can instead of heights over here i can pass in some other uh, uh, mat how do i put some other array as well and that will work just fine um, and the colors will be readjusted accordingly there we go there we go now we have almost all the controls of our choice in this polar bar chart. Now there are a few more keyword arguments that are available in these bar charts that you can that you can go and explore. But for most practical purposes, I guess this I believe that this will be more than sufficient for anybody to proceed with. Proceed with. And uh, that's all I have for you all in this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time in another interesting video. Until then, take care.